Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to make a program in C++ that will display a sentence. However, this sentence will be called by using a function. So that means the program will have the sentence inside a function that we will call in the main section of the code. So the program will be programmed in C++. So we start by clicking the new project in Visual Studio. Now we choose the Win32 console application. In name, we will call this program display sentence using function. We click OK. And now the, the wizard appears where we will click next. And in this window, we will choose the empty project options. And we will let everything else just like that. And we click finish now. It is generating the project. Now we have the project generated, but we need to add a C++ file. So in this section, Solution Explorer, we right click the source files, we click add and new item. We choose the C++ file and we will name it main. We click add. And here we have our code. So we begin. The first thing we must always do is include the IO stream library. The second thing we must do is tell the program to use the namespace std. Okay, so we will use a function that will display a sentence. Since this function will just display it can be a void function and since it will display a sentence we will call it show sentence there will be no arguments so we just put the parentheses and the semicolon at the end now that we have declared that we will use that function later we have to make the int main function so this function will obviously call the show sentence. So we will type it like that. And now we must program the function. Okay, so to display a message in the command prompt, we use the cout and the sentence that we will display is now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their body okay since we finish this sentence we write the end l command it means end line and now we put the semicolon at the end okay so basically this code will just display a sentence we don't have any errors so when we click the local windows debugger There is an issue here. Aha, uh -huh. and I typed the show sentence wrongly here. So now we click the local debugger and it shows display. <coughs> yes, it displays and, and it ends. Why this happens? 
we have to write a line in the main section called system pause and now we click the local windows debugger button and here we go it shows the message and that's pretty all of what the program do so the system pause just do the press any key to continue so when we press any key for example spacebar it closes the software and that's how you display a message by using a function remember that return zero is not necessary but we should always write it here just for compatibility purposes we must write the return zero but it is not necessary in the int main function so when we use the, the program again compile you see there is no difference it will run normally so that's all i hope you like this tutorial and if you would like more of this subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more how-to videos thank you a lot